What comes to your mind when you hear the word creativity? Do you believe that creativity and risk taking go hand in hand? What is it that keeps us from realizing our creative potential? Hello everyone and welcome to another brand new episode on my channel Wonder Boho Book Club. Today I'll be discussing the book The War of Art. Break through the blocks and win your inner creative battles. Written by Stephen Pressfield. Stephen Pressfield is an American author of historical fiction, non-fiction, and screen plays. In the War of Art, Stephen presents to us an inspiring guide to overcoming creative blocks of every kind. The book sheds light on the various forms of resistance that artists, entrepreneurs, and athletes often come across when trying to break through creative barriers. The book is both challenging and inspirational, giving hope to those who are in the process of fulfilling their creative potential. Before moving ahead, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Part 1 Resistance The force that can stop us from achieving what we want Resistance is a mental force that opposes all our endeavors and affects everyone Simply stated resistance is the opposite of what we want to achieve in life Any change to your daily routine will naturally be met with resistance whether it is positive or negative For example if you have a call to start a new business and you feel like staying at your current job would be more stable the idea of taking the risk might make you nervous Resistance has been around for a long time and it has been seen as a major obstacle to success It is one of the many mental forces that affect us every day and we must learn how to deal with it in order to achieve our goals resistance manifests itself in many ways such as procrastination lack of motivation and fear of failure resistance is a natural and necessary part of the journey so it's important to keep refocusing on your dreams and committing to your craft this can be difficult sometimes but don't forget that you deserve this dream resistance can be a bad thing when it comes to change but resistance can make life more interesting don't be so quick to listen to those voices that try and dissuade you from taking a risk on something new give it a try maybe you will gain momentum from the project and succeed where others failed part 2 learning to manipulate resistance to our advantage sometimes it's a good idea to use resistance as an advantage when you're feeling stuck use the resistance to spur you into action for example imagine a situation when you're stuck in a rut and don't know what to do next you need a change but you don't know how so Instead of thinking about what you should do next, think about all the things that are stopping you from doing that change. What is your reason for not doing it? What is your fear? What is the worst thing that could happen if you did it? Now, focus on overcoming these fears and taking action anyway. Instead of letting fear stop you, use it to propel your dream. It's okay to feel some self-doubt and apprehension in order for your dream to be something that truly matters. You won't be afraid of failure if you weren't passionate about what you're doing. Remember that fear is a good indicator that what you are doing is meaningful. Don't let fear and self-doubt drag your focus away from the dreams that should matter most to you. Part 3 Act like a professional Take your dream seriously 
The best way to fight resistance is to maintain professionalism and treat your dream like a full-time job. It's important for us to be patient and focused in order to achieve success in life. The most important thing is to have a plan. Also, it's important to not have a lot of expectations and be able to let go of the outcome in order for you to stay focused on the process. When we get too attached to how things could possibly turn out, it can cause anxiety and fear about failing, which prevents us from moving forward with our dreams. You can take the skills you develop at work and apply them toward your passions. For example, you probably maintain punctuality at work because you don't want to be reprimanded by your boss. Similarly, you don't always enjoy your day job, but you manage to do it anyway. Thus, you can apply the skills of punctuality and perseverance while working on your dream and to maintain a professional attitude. To listen to more interesting summaries, please subscribe to my channel. Part 4 Know Yourself and Your Art It is important to know yourself and your craft in order to be a professional. Professionals should know their strengths, weaknesses, and what they are good at. It's also important that you know and are honest about your limitations. You should know when it will benefit you to work with others and when it might be best to work on your own. An important quality of being a professional is to be humble enough to ask for guidance when they need it. Knowing how and when to ask for help can really help you to continue developing your craft and your attitude towards others in general. Most importantly, always do your best to improve and reinvent yourself in order to make yourself a better professional. Part 5 Use hard work and dedication to counteract resistance. While resistance is a natural response to change, it can be overcome with the use of positive mental forces. Mental strength or force refers to a person's ability to maintain a positive state of mind despite challenging circumstances. Mental strength is determined by how well an individual can control thoughts and emotions, such as how much someone can handle stress or emotion-based triggers. There are many things that we can do in order to make sure that our progress is not hindered by resistance. One of these things is being dedicated and working hard while also changing our mindset on what success looks like. Imagine if someone had told you that one day you were going to win at the Olympics. Imagine the feeling of accomplishment and how much more energy it would have given you to train hard and push yourself. Now imagine if someone told you that your dream was just not possible for some reason or other, such as your body did not allow it, or there wasn't enough time, or you couldn't do it in your lifetime. Would you be willing to give up on your dream? Instead of feeling frustrated and bored with the idea of what could have been, focus on living in the present moment and working hard with full dedication towards realizing your dream, irrespective of what others might think. Part 6. Break the Hierarchies We all have hierarchies in our lives. Some people define themselves and are defined by hierarchies in their lives, and hierarchies have quite a restrictive influence. Some examples of a hierarchy would be family, friends, colleagues, and the people you work with. The idea of a hierarchy can be very limiting for some people. 
It can make them feel that they are not as good as other people, or that they don't fit into certain groups due to their age, gender, or race. Also, hierarchy in some workplaces does not allow employees to act creatively. Instead, those who want to think outside the norm are forced into one role, an unenjoyable one at that. The reason for this is that hierarchy always gives preference to financial profits over creativity and encourages people to mold their behavior in accordance with what the customer wants. However, creative people don't define themselves by where they work or whether their work is received by an audience. Their craft is what matters to them and they're willing to fight against a hierarchy if it means upholding the values of art. They believe that when you're trying to do your best work because you feel inspired from inside, it becomes easier to produce high-quality work. Conclusion Creative people will have to face some resistance when they're working on their project, no matter what that project is. There are often negative forces out there trying to get in the way of your progress, but you can overcome resistance by learning to identify what it is and making it work for you. It might not be easy mastering resistance, but if you want your goals to be realized, then hard work and persistent effort are the only way around. Thank you for watching this episode. Please don't forget to subscribe. Your likes, shares and comments are highly appreciated. See you soon in our next episode.